come now to quarterfinal number three. It's time to meet the first player playing in his second shootout quarterfinal. He's sizzling, Stephen Hallward. consecutive shootout semi-final. He is the Spaceman, Dominic Dale. Dominic Dale, understated as ever. <laughs> He's played some great stuff in this tournament. He was the winner in 2014. He was semi-finalist last season. Stephen Hallworth was a quarter-finalist back in 2018, his second appearance in the last eight. Of course, he's playing under amateur status, but he's already produced some great stuff in this event. Keeps winning the lag, Dominic, doesn't he? He's got the lag nailed down. And he keeps on breaking, and he, he said himself, he left a couple of long reds have been knocked in. Let's see how this transpires. Third quarter final. We've already got Chao Yiping and Mark Allen through to the semis. And Lucy avoided the in off there. And the pink has gone in front of a red. Got away with one there, Stephen Orworth. Very hard to beat Dominic because he's played the, everything perfectly. He's won a lot of matches from behind. He's queuing beautifully. Not to beat, not to beat for Stephen Allworth. So Dominic Dale then with an early scoring chance here. He'll be 52 on the 29th of December. If he were to win the title tonight, he would be the oldest ever winner of a ranking tournament. He's very good at just focusing, though. You know, he gets involved with the crowd at the start and at the end, but in the middle, when the serious business happens, he just focuses on what he does. Must have a red to the left corner here, the top one. The red on the pink spot. There it is. He cues so nicely, you know. He's, he's always been a fine cueman. The moment he's seeing them, and uh, not much is stopping him when he's in. He knows when to attack and when not to. Not played a great shot there, but he's got the reserve red way up the table if he really has to play it. Once an error because he hasn't finished on the brown. Oh, 
But that's a very good way to end the break. Perfectly played. Yeah, we saw his match with Joe Long. He, he laid a good snooker early on, didn't he, behind the yellow? And well, Joe actually didn't make contact with anything. Oh, that's a great effort. That's a terrific shot. You only got one go at those, whereas it, of course, usually it would be put back and you could miss it and play it until you hit one. a little more awkward now which of course 19 points doesn't seem much but it's quite a few if the table and high value colors are not there another good safety shot how can Stephen Hallworth break the sequence and get in that's the question how's he going to get in Showing a lot of patience. Yeah, it's about weighing up the time, isn't it, to attack? He didn't want to go too early, risk everything, leave Dominic in, but at some point, obviously, needs to get in. Well, it was a good decision from Hallworth. It was. He hit the wrong red there, Dominic, on the way through, and he knows a chance has been left. A black's been developed as well. Shot there, you know, Stephen. Must be very close to the bramble with his shirt. <laughs> yeah, he was in a slight panic, wasn't he? But he played the shot and he potted it. Yeah. Referee was on the case as well, no foul. But this is as good a chance as he, he could possibly have here. If you can get the red that's in the way of the black going to the right corner. If you can play on that one now. Eight. Trouble is, I think he might hit the other red on the way through. Needs help. Oh, that's not finished well. He didn't play it very well, to be honest. It was a golden chance. Oh, goodness me. Well, that is a complete game changer. Now, Stephen Hallworth has, cannot believe his luck. Dominic has miscued out of nowhere. All of a sudden, the wheel has fallen off. The man who does all the tips for the players, his own tip has let him down there. Well, what a thing to happen. Well, he put it, the keyboard in a very strange place there, where it actually it was hampered over a red, <laughs> extraordinarily. Well, this is a massive moment. Dominic, all of a sudden, the last couple of shots, he's fallen to pieces. It's been so good for three days. Well, he's red out in the open, big colours available. Major chance here if he can just hold himself together. Stephen Hallworth, remember, he's not even on the tour. He's trying to get back on. Yeah, and I think he's just got to occupy the table now and just take red colour, red colour. Time goes down, points go up. Dominic out of the equation now. What a mistake he made. A complete, seemingly avoidable miscue there. Oh, 
Tiny, he looks very calm, but what if he's nervous inside? That would have been the, another changer, game changer there, had he gone in off in the middle. He looked to have it under control, Dominic. He was in first, cruising, and then everything seemed to change in the space of, like, two visits to the table. He was completely unexpected. Stephen Allworth had to knuckle down. That's what he's done. It's been a difficult time for him. He didn't get on to the Q school. He lost his job in the pub. His practice base shut down. He's had a lot to process. But he's poised to join the semi-final lineup here for the shootout. This was the miscue that changed the whole match. He wasn't trying a lot with the... You know, is it, he wasn't really trying to screw back very far or do much with it. It was totally out of the blue, that. Dominic Dale has sung his final note in this year's shootout. Stephen Allworth playing under amateur status is into the semi-finals. A major moment, that miscue. It turned the whole game in his favour. Then it was up to him to bring it home. That's what he's done. Ali Carter, Elliot Slesser is next. 